Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. So I'm like on video eight or nine, you guys know how I like marathon record. <laughs> and I've like been changing my hat on each video. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna show you, you ready? Look at the roots, oh my gosh. So I showered tonight and I was like, ah, I just kind of let my hair air dry. And I'm like, you know what? These roots are so long, I'm just gonna wear the hat. And then you don't even know, you don't even know. So who knows how long my roots are gonna be by the time my hairdresser is working again. So thanks for being here. If you're new to the channel, you probably don't care about my roots, but uh, bread and butter video. <laughs> Items that you can pick up at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, pretty easily find these items. Um, my bread and butter bolo videos usually contain items that I paid, not what I paid, that I sold for $30 or less. Um, anything that sells for $30 or more is in my big money bolo videos. So um, that's just how I've decided to divide things out. So this is a what sold on eBay video. And we are going to get started here. And I have lots of different types of bolo videos. So definitely, if you're new here, um, go check out some of my category videos, my featured seller videos. And if you want to be featured, definitely um, get in touch with me in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Links down in the description. And we're going to start with this first bread and butter item here. Now, I don't know. I get emails like this all or messages like this all the time. And most of the time, I just don't buy it, you know. Like, um, this one was a little bit different. They said, I know that you can get more for this item, but I really want it. And I would be absurdly happy if you would accept my offer. And I was like, they offered me 20 bucks. I had it at $26 and 40 cents. And I'm like, you know what? They're just asking. And the, the offer is not horrible. I would have liked to have gotten 23 or 24 for it. I actually sold another item that was in a little bit better condition. Same item on Mercari for $36 and free shipping. So I was hoping to get 23 out of it, but 20 is not that far off. And, you know, they, they said, I know you can get more for your item, but I'd really appreciate it if you would sell it to me for this price. I don't have a lot of money. And I'm like, you know what? Sold. So I sold it for $20. I had probably less than a dollar in it. It was in a bulk buy garage sale find. So I just did it. I took it. I took the offer. And I know you guys know what I mean as resellers. Sometimes you get those things that are like just ridiculous stories that you know like are not true. They're just trying to get a deal. But this person was completely honest, you know, and I, I just, I don't know. I liked how they wrote it and I took the offer. If he wouldn't have wrote that or she, he or she, wouldn't have wrote that, I probably would have countered at 23. So I did take what they wrote into consideration. Um, that's why I always tell you guys, like if you're gonna make me an offer, please put in the offer notes, Bolo Buddies, so that I know you guys are from the channel. All right, the next item is this Tommy Fun World uh, pullback cars. It's like a little playset, super cute. Um, I picked this up, I believe at a garage sale and I think I paid around five bucks for it. And I sold this for $25. I took a best offer and the buyer paid shipping. And it's a really cute set. I actually got it out and like pulled the toys back, make sure they worked. And it's a cute set, but the box was really damaged. This little Marilyn Monroe um, collectible uh, Christmas ornament. And I didn't put Christmas in the title. Um, anyway, it sold for best offer of $12 and the buyer paid shipping. I got this at a garage sale for like a buck. These vintage McDonald's 1993 food fundamentals, complete set, happy meal toys. I took a best offer of $7. I bought a whole tote of McDonald's toys. Some of them did really well and sold really fast. This one was a little more long tail and I took a best offer of seven. So major bread and butter here. Uh, buyer paid shipping. I do have a video, a category video on Happy Meal toys that are a bolo that sell for big money. Definitely go check that out because you might be shocked. And these items you can find at garage sales for sure. 
but I had pennies in this. It was a huge bulk buy, not huge. It was a huge tote, but, um, and I like paid three or five bucks for the whole tote. So yeah, I have nothing in this. So pretty much all profit. These came from my, I got it free from the garage sale video. And I sold these very, very fast within 24 hours for $8. And the buyer paid shipping. And you guys should definitely go check out that video. I, I got so much stuff free at this garage sale. It was amazing. And the next item are these Lot of Seven Leapster Learning Games. I sold this for $19.36. And the buyer paid shipping. I had a whole tote of leap pad items that I decided to get out of my money pile and get listed. And I have done very well. That was a very good choice to pull those. This Hallmark ornament I got at the same place as the Marilyn Monroe ornament. It was a dollar and it is Toy Story 2. I sold this for $15.84 in the buyer paid shipping. More of my Leap Pad items. And I, you know, I got probably a buck in all of this. I sold it for $22.88 in the buyer paid shipping. All right. These Melissa Sweet Bridal Shoes. Oh my goodness. Um, I picked these up on David's Bridal website when they were on clearance. I don't remember exactly what I paid for them. It is more retail arbitrage um, margins. So I did not make a ton of money. I sold these for $19.80 in the buyer paid shipping. I don't know why these are not doing better. They're super cute. They're great wedding shoes. I... I don't know. I still have all of these sizes left. 10, 8.5, 9, 9.5, 12. So if you know anyone getting married that needs a nice pair of bridal shoes, please let them know to come to my store. And I think they retail pretty high. So I don't know. They're just not selling. I mean, I've sold four, but I don't know. The next item is this Shopkins Fashion Spree Slumber Party set. It's a play set of Shopkins, and this came from a garage sale, had less than a dollar in it. I sold it for $14, buyer paid shipping. These postcards, picked them up at a garage sale for $1. I sold them for $8.25, best offer, and the buyer paid shipping. This UFC came from a garage sale where I bought a ton of toys, so I have less than a dollar in this. It's from 2011. It's a UFC fighter. And I sold him for $14 in the buyer paid shipping. This Ghostbusters, I really thought I was going to be able to sell this for more, but I did end up taking a best offer of $30. I paid $5 for this at a garage sale and the buyer paid shipping. So I was hoping it would do better, but I still made a great profit. All right, this frog, this frog this frog, and this frog. Somebody offered me $10 each, so that's a total of $40 for four frogs. The buyer paid the shipping. Um, I did do discounted shipping on it. I think I charged like seven bucks. Maybe it was eight, I can't remember. Um, but I took really low, I mean, I have them listed for $17.60 each, and I took 10 each, so. Um, I could have held out and probably got 15 each. I've sold quite a few of these frogs and these are the iridescent ones, which go for a little more. But I was like, they're buying four, that's $40. I've got probably a buck in all four of them. So I went ahead and took the offer. These are super cool. And I almost wish that I would have put these on Mercari or um, Poshmark. They're vintage unicorn prints. And I took a best offer of 25 for these. Uh, they came from a garage sale. I think I paid a dollar each. So I think they're super cool. What do you guys think? Comment below. These aprons. Uh, these were the ones that had issues. This is the TLC lot. Um, I do sell vintage aprons individually. And they do okay. They're a long tail item. But somebody offered me $25 on this and I said, okay. So I sold these for $25, buyer paid shipping. Probably had a couple bucks in all of them. All right, here is one of my dollar store flips. If you guys have not seen my dollar store flip video, definitely go check that out. Um, I did sell um, another item that I picked up at the dollar store for decent money. 
I took a best offer of $8 for this. Each one of these items was a dollar each. They are uh, dry erase uh, workbooks for letters and numbers. And so I've got $2, sold it for eight plus shipping. So definitely bread and butter, but you know, decent. I've sold four of them. Veggie Tales, Lord of the Beans. I picked this up at a garage sale. I usually pay between 50 cents and a dollar for movies. Um, I sold this for $10 in the buyer paid shipping. This littlest pet shop. These are just some pet shop toys and some accessories. I took a, I'm sorry, this sold for full asking price of $17.60 in the buyer paid shipping. This came from a garage sale. I probably have a book in all of it. All right, these are very, very cool. If you look here, it, they're sucker holders. Aren't they cute? And I didn't show all of them, but they hold suckers. And then you give them out at trick or treat time. And these were actually already punched out. I do have some that are unpunched and they are vintage and they are super cool. The unpunched are a little higher priced, but these were punched. So I went ahead and took, um, I sold these for less for $10.56 in the buyer paid shipping. I bought this in a bulk Halloween lot. So I have less than a dollar in these. And I think I said the buyer paid shipping. These little Power Rangers uh, came in a big bulk buy purchase at a garage sale. So I have probably 50 cents in these. I sold them for $13.20 and the buyer paid shipping. These little tally cards I got at a garage sale. I think I paid a dollar for all of them and I have another set listed still. Um, I sold these for $8 best offer, the buyer paid shipping. And they're super cute. Probably somebody's going to use them for crafts. I thought I already showed that one. Maybe I didn't. Um, so this is a Nancy Drew. Oh, no, I think that was like a little house on the prairie I showed in another video. So this is a Nancy Drew starter kit. No, I showed this. Because I remember they were 10 cents each. I don't see it though. Anyway, I sold it for 15. Where is that? I might have showed it in another video. So 60 cents, sold it for 15, buyer paid shipping. Maybe I thought I missed it. The next item are these vintage skipper clothing items. They are all TLC and they are all tagged. I sold these for a best offer of $19 and the buyer paid shipping. And the last item is another Leap Pad Leap Frog items, games, and books. I sold these for $19.36. The buyer paid shipping, and I had less than a buck in it. So that concludes my bread and butter bolo video. Let me know what you think. Uh, people seem to really like my bread and butter bolo videos. I think it's because the items are easier to find, and um, they have a quicker turnaround rate for the most part. So as always, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you made it to the end of the video, comment, I made it to the end of the video. Uh, go down below and check out my Instagram, Twitter. I think I have my link tree down there. If you click on that, that'll show you like everything. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. I think I already said that and see you soon.